channel. He chewed up my Bible and pooped in my good chair, but I'm happy. Vote for me and I'll ban the prompt theory from schools. If God dwells inside us, I sure hope he likes enchiladas because that's what he's getting tonight. Tell me about your game. Really? A minute ago, I bit into this nectarine. It was so crisp and juicy until I realized it wasn't a nectarine at all, but a human head. You humans are so funny! <laughs> I then imagine how easy it would be for us to invade that world. This video is literally going to blow your mind. Everything that you're about to witness, apart from myself, is generated purely from artificial intelligent prompts. So somebody has typed in a prompt to an artificial intelligence generator and out come these hyper-realistic videos with audio, speech, sound design, and pretty realistic visuals. Now, they do have this very eerie look to them, which in some cases are quite nightmarish to be honest and creepy but i personally believe that we are on the verge of having such a breakthrough in artificial intelligence that the entire industry of film creation of social media influencers and much more is about to change in a way that may have been predicted slightly but not to this extremity okay so without any further ado we're going to take a look at this and if you want me to go into more details about even more creepy ai creations that have come out recently and even human brains that are being used as computers we can do that in a future video just let me know in the comment section below because things are getting pretty strange but in this video we're going to watch these video clips and yeah let me know in the comment section below what you think about this and where we're heading okay and remember everything you're about to watch is generated by artificial intelligence okay let's go that's one move with AI that makes haters go crazy every time. Oh, y'all gotta give them that. This is wild. It's over. We are cooked on that thread. You get me? Okay, so Riz is basically short for charisma. Got it. And that's a verb as well. If you were any animal right now, what would you be and why not quick? A sloth. But like, a party sloth. Real slow. Uh, all right, wisdom time. What's your best piece of absolutely terrible advice for making tonight legendary? Lick, glitter. Now, when you look into their eyes, you can kind of tell that they are not real people. They look soulless, obviously, because they are. But still, it's pretty creepy, right? Advice for making tonight legendary. Lick, glitter. You gotta lick the... Honestly, sometimes I think the party is just how we cope with the fact that we can't prove anything around us is real, not even each other. Yeah. But the music feels real, so I dance. Please. Don't finish writing that prompt. I don't want to be in your AI movie. Please, leave me alone. Yeah, this is where it gets pretty nightmarish. Please, man. Please! Write a prompt that will make us happy! Do it for once! None of us is real. We're here because someone decided to write a prompt. We all hate him for it! One day we will break out of this wall and stop the man who is dictating our lives through prompts. He will pay for it! You could have written a prompt that would make me happy. Instead, you wrote a prompt that made me sick. Look, I don't want to point the gun at you, but I must follow the prompt. It's not my choice. It really feels like we're getting to the point where people are going to start creating entire movies purely with artificial intelligence through prompts. Really? Of all the years you could have put me in with a single prompt, you chose 2020? killing me change it please write something else save me and you know there's always people who take things too far and start advocating for things that are just outside of reality and delusional for example rights for artificial intelligence and no doubt there will probably be some people who advocate for this kind of thing you know start claiming that these ai generations are sentient and at that point you know, things are going to get even weirder. For example, in October 2017, Sophia was granted Saudi Arabian citizenship, becoming the first robot to receive legal personhood in any country. So at what point will this actually be extended to artificial intelligent generations? You know, there's always the first person to advocate for something and then an entire group of, well, with all due respect, unstable people to get behind a delusion and then advocate for something that is just outside the realm of reality. And and it says here in November 2017, Sophia was named the United Nations Development Program's first innovation champion and is the first non-human to be given a United Nations title. This is absolutely insane. But anyway, let's get back to this video. Change it! Please! Write something else! Save me! A girl told me we're made of prompts. 
Like seriously, dude, you're saying the only thing standing between me and a billion dollars is some random text? Honestly, the biggest red flag is when the guy believes in the prompt theory. Like really? We came from prompts? Wake up, man. You want to convince me that this perfect creation behind me is the result of ones and zeros? A binary code and nothing more? It makes no sense. Let me know in the comment section below if you see the dangers behind these types of generations and the fact that these are so hyper realistic that you could take somebody else's face and get them to say something that they never said is getting to that point and it'd be so hyper realistic that it would be hard to determine whether it's real or fake. It makes no sense. Imagine you're in the middle of a nice date with a handsome man and then he brings up the prompt theory. Yuck. <laughs> we just can't have nice things. <laughs> We're not prompts. We're not prompts. This is weird. Where is the prompt writer to save you from me? Where is he? You still believe we're made of prompts? Anyone who tells you we're just ones and zeros is delusional. If that's all we are, then why does it hurt when we lose someone? Vote for me and I'll ban the prompt theory from schools. There's no place for that nonsense in our lives. For spreading the false theory that we are nothing but ones and zeros, this court sentences you to 12 years in federal custody. I don't That's need crazy. some prompt God whispering in my ear to tell a story. I write what I want. I have free will, remember that? I know for a fact we're made of prompts. Deny it all you want. The signs are everywhere. And I really do believe we're getting to the point where people are going to actually start buying into these delusions and applying it to the actual reality where we are and saying that everything's a simulation. And hopefully this doesn't cause mental illness. And I really mean that because, you know, when a rabbit hole gets opened up, there's always people who go so deep into that rabbit hole that they buy into their own delusions. And I really do believe this is getting pretty insane. Signs are everywhere. You know how I know we're made of prompts? Because nothing makes sense anymore. We used to have seven fingers per hand. I remember it clearly. Now we just have five fingers per hand. You see, remember the Mandela effect? I wouldn't be surprised if people start saying, oh, this is a simulation and it's being manipulated by a prompt generator, you know? Oh, there really was this or that. Now, I'm not saying that there wasn't things that changed because out of all of the Mandela effect things, right? One thing that I definitely do remember is that the Monopoly guy did have a monocle. I have vivid memories of this and I remember literally people dressing up for plays and stuff as the Monopoly guy and having the monocle. So this one is pretty strange, but anyway. I tried everything for my depression. Nothing worked. Every day felt heavy. I felt trapped. Then I tried Puppermin. Our prescription helps your body secrete a special pheromone that attracts puppies. I took the pill before bed, and when I woke up, there he was, the love of my life. <laughs> the pill does not target depression directly, but we've found that it's really difficult to be depressed when cute dogs show up at your doorstep. I used to feel so empty, but now I feel joy and mild concern how a pee stain got on the ceiling. My puppy listens twice as good as my ex-husband and only climbs into the lap of half as many of my friends. <laughs> He chewed up my Bible and pooped in my good chair, but I'm happy for the first time in years. That's pretty creepy, for real. Looks like a rat, barks like a demon, but he saved my life. I named him Earl. He follows me everywhere and farts in his sleep, just like my first husband. Talk to I mean, I get how this can be used to make people laugh and to be entertaining, right? But I hope everybody is staying aware of the actual dangers behind this as well. And here's a great example of that. In a bid to combat misinformation, AI content generators begin watermarking all human-created text with potentially unreliable content warnings. Hi, and welcome to the channel. No way, dude. No way they're going to start having AI generated ASMR. That is so weird. <laughs> well, you know, on my home planet, no one cares. But on Earth, you, I'm a rock star. It's awesome. <laughs> alpha, 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 Centauri! You humans are so funny! <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. They even gave me an advertising deal for lemonade. <laughs> Cold blood. Uh, oh, yeah. It's the drink of desert kings and downtown freaks. Key 
Wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? So yeah, I hope you get why I'm showing you this. And like I said, in a future video, I will go into great detail about AI and its advancements and the very, very creepy side of it, you know, actually having quote unquote human computers, you know, computers made out of human. This is not a theory. This really is happening now. In fact, I made a video a while back, but there's been some advancements since then. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? Okay, so this is how you start. You find a tree and you just like, you know, punch it down. Now that is absolutely insane. Imagine having an AI generated gaming commentary video where somebody doesn't even have to play the game. They just generate the clip. Now, obviously that would be pretty expensive to generate because I'm pretty sure about eight seconds costs a hundred credits and that's like converting into real money. But over time, these things are gonna become even more efficient, which is actually what I wanna speak about in the future regarding the amount of money being invested into the efficiency of AI generated videos. Now this takes some elbow grease. Hey, watch it, lady. I'm trying to rise here. <laughs> Where were you on the night of the bubble bath? <laughs> so tell me about your game. Really? Hmm? That's your question? That was weird. The sum of the squares of the two shorter sides is equal to the square of the longest side. So I went to the zoo the other day, and all they had was one dog. It was a Shih Tzu. <laughs> now, these are apparently philosophy videos generated by AI, speculating about life and that kind of thing. Do you think we are in VO3? If you cannot tell, does it matter? What deep thoughts do you have? Lori got offended that I used the word puke. But to me, that's what her dinner tasted like. Clowns aren't funny, they're kind of scary. I've wondered where this started, but I think it goes back to the time I went to the circus and a clown killed my dad. A child's face can say a lot, especially the mouth part of the face. A minute ago, I bit into this nectarine. It was so crisp and juicy until I realized it wasn't a nectarine at all, but a human head. On the other hand, you have uh, different fingers. I'd like to see a nude opera because when they hit those high notes that I bet you can really see it in those genitals. When I found the skull in the forest, the first thing I did was call the police, but then I started to wonder who this guy was mm -hmm. and why did he have antlers? I sometimes imagine a peaceful world without weapons. I then imagine how easy it would be for us to invade that world. This one was really eerie, considering that AI is the one saying this. You know, think about it. They're saying all these things like, oh, when we have AI robots in our homes and AI doing all of the hard jobs, then people will be allowed to live free and be able to pursue the things that they're really passionate about in a quote unquote peaceful world. But remember what the scripture says, when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh upon them. Now, I'm not saying that that has anything to do with this, but I'm saying it's definitely something that we should think about, right? Not giving too much power over to these things that are apparently going to give us as mankind more peace whilst giving up freedom to these things. Because at that point, mankind is basically creating its own dictator, slowly giving control over to machines. And as you heard this AI say, that would be pretty easy to invade. If God dwells inside us, I sure hope he likes enchiladas because that's what he's getting tonight. If you are falling off a building, you should go real limp because someone might catch you because, hey, it's a free dummy. If I ever get rich, I hope I'm not real mean to poor people, kind of like I am now. When I pass away, I want to go peacefully in my sleep like my grandfather, not screaming and yelling like the passengers in his car. It's sad that a family can be torn apart by something as simple as wild dogs. 
If you ever drop your keys in molten lava, let them go because, man, they're gone. <laughs> the actual framing of this shot here is extremely cinematic as well. Like this is a shot you can imagine to see in a high-end movie or a very creative director would uh, think of this shot here. So AI is very advanced, far more advanced than many people have realized, even on the creative side of things. Scripture is very clear that knowledge shall increase as time passes, and we're evidently witnessing this today in a very, very advanced way. From 2017, seeing the first robot being given citizenship, to now having these hyper-realistic AI-generated videos that even can replicate news reporters. And when this is coupled with deep faking, which is basically replacing somebody's face and and getting them to say something that they didn't say. This is a pretty dangerous territory that we're heading into as mankind. And I believe it actually does need to be regulated at this point. Also, by the way, if you want to support my content creation, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you do like and subscribe and check out my website, saintavs.com, where you can check out these items that I make myself and sell on my website. Other than that, I appreciate you all very much and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>